Hello, thanks for watching. We're going to go over how to perform an ink purge and a nozzle check on the Performance Jet 2508. Here's a list of some items you're going to need. Well, okay, we're going to open up our PJ driver and go ahead and select the home button at the top of the screen here. This is going to return the carriage in the gantry back to the home position. And we also want to make sure to confirm that the spitting button is turned off. This is very important. Once the carriage is returned home, we're going to go back to our PJ driver and click the maintenance button on the left side of the screen. These arrows here will let you manually raise or lower the carriage. Go ahead and raise the carriage about an inch and a half. Once that's complete, use the valve key to turn the negative pressure valve to the 3 o'clock position on whichever ink color you want to purge. We are purging white and varnish today, so notice we are turning the white and varnish ink purge valves. It is important to note that even if you only want to purge one color, you must do the other color that shares the same print head. Ink will now begin to leak from the print heads. Go ahead and press the ink purge button on the bottom left of the printer for a few seconds. This will apply positive pressure to the ink line to assist in purging ink. Once completed, return the negative pressure valves to the 6 o'clock position. Go ahead and open the waste tray. Drape a dry, lint-free cleaning cloth over your finger. With a rolling motion, wipe the bottom of the print head from back to front. Repeat the process on each head with a dry, clean cloth, making note to only touch the print head with a clean area. Now close the waste tray. To prepare for our nozzle check, we want to load clear media on the vacuum table. This will make it easier to check our white nozzles. Make sure to press the vacuum button to make sure the media is securely held in place. In our printer driver, begin by pressing the operation button on the left side of the screen. Then click the nozzle check button. We need to find out the thickness of our media, so select manually detect. Click yes to raise the carriage to the top. This will ensure that we don't crash into our media. Once the carriage is raised, Click Move to Media Position. You may need to adjust your XY values depending where your media is laying on the bed. Go ahead and press OK. The carriage will now lower to automatically identify the media height. Now we click Apply and exit out of the menu. Go ahead and select the Home button at the top of the screen. This again will return the carriage back to the home position. Once the carriage is returned, go ahead and select Nozzle Check. This time, we are ready to start printing. You have now completed a new purge and a nozzle check on the Performance Jet 2508 UF. If you have additional questions, please contact your authorized MUTO reseller.